Another thing I want to talk is my latest obsession. That's my mittens. I saw a beautiful pattern and I bought it. And I liked everything about them. I started knitting. At first I knitted the way it was recommended. Let me find it. Let me find it. So at first I knitted as it was recommended using similar thickness of the yarn. Though as soon as I saw them, I saw them in bright colors, stripy. Well, if we, if we can call it stripes or maybe blocks of colors. What I liked most about them was this clean look. Can you see the right? On that side there are no increases at all and on that side there's only one line of increases that goes up right into there. That's why I bought, that was the main, the main reason. It wasn't increases like that for the finger, for the thumb. It wasn't increases going both ways or just making a hole and then picking up the stitches around. It was this nice look and I saw them like that. I had quite a lot of yarn this thickness. I used 50, I used 100 meters in 50 grams and held two strands together. I had this yarn for several years. Some of it was given by my husband's colleagues from their previous works and they gave me to use for color work and I didn't have much of the bright one and then one day I will put a video after finishing this sentence the lady who owns uh, a second-hand shop texted me saying that another woman who used to work for a very com famous company who's Fleden that's hand knitted work and it's official it's well known it's kind of national company and it's very expensive all the things they do are very expensive so she gave up knitting because she was too old and had pains in the wrists and brought some bags of yarn to her shop so I went there and I took quite a lot of balls. I was taking only the ones that were full and with the label and I found some bright colors. And I started knitting like crazy. Look at this craziness. And I'm planning to use all that for the mittens. Here I have only basic colors gray white brown beige it's either drops charisma or dalagarn or sanna's garden alpaca wool so you can see its original price is 65. most of the balls i got really cheap and this is Estland Garn 100% wool. This is a very nice color. From my second hand shop. And here I put all the colors. So this is very Christmassy. And it's also, you can see Sanna's Garn Smart. Charisma, Pia Gint, Pia Gint, Smart, 
and I bought some super bright neon colors from Dalla Carn. It's older. So if I need an, a beautiful accent for the for the fingers. And here is my leftover mohair. And if I see that I have enough mohair for that color, I will knit it up together. And the, the mittens will be fluffier and will have this nice halo. And this warmer and this more beautiful. Here I have all different leftovers. Beige and gray and brown and blue and pink and mustard and beige. How many pairs? How many pairs can they make? Huh? But what I didn't like about this fabric, it's okay. It's very nice, you can see it. This is washed. I wanted to I wanted to add one strand of more here for the nice halo and this softness. So it's the paw of a cat. And when I added it, I had to do some adjustments because I had to change the number of needles. I had to change the amount of stitches. I had to change the amount of rows. So I had to rewrite this pattern. I did it and was very happy knitting. Um, in the pattern, original one, there was only one size, maybe two sizes. Or maybe it's like it was adjusted to one size. Well, so I'm afraid to. So I sized it to three sizes. So S, for example, my hand, M, a bit bigger, and L for men's size. And was knitting happily. So I will show you all of what I've knitted. And I thought this was the that side. No, yeah. I was sure this is the kind of the right side and this is the palm side. I did, though it, it's only one line, I didn't want to beat on that side just to give this clean, clean look. And one day I knitted a pair of mittens, put them on and was walking around in the room. And I've noticed that if you wear it like this, it's more comfortable. I couldn't believe it. I went to the pattern, I went to Instagram, checked all the photos, and yes, because most of the mittens that were knitted had Ming, and it was had lots of hair sticking out, it was so fluffy, I couldn't see. But when I checked, it was all this line, this line, had to be on that side. I got so upset. But I still kept knitting. <laughs> so these were my first ones. So after knitting these, I tried to get a bit bigger size. You can see. So I knitted size M using two strands together with no more here. And then I decided that I need to redo, recalculate, do some maths and make it with a strand of mohair. I took the same red yarn, added the strand of mohair 
and knit it with the mohair. So that was size M. Then I started sizing and counting how many stitches I have to add to get size L. And I knitted these. I was knitting them at work during my lunch break and a colleague saw them and I want this, but I want in different colors. And he was wearing very nice color combination, dog dog green linen shirt with blue corduroy pants. I don't remember exactly, but he said, look at me and use the same color combo. And I did it. After some time, he also came and asked, can you knit a pair of mittens for my girlfriend using the same color combination? So it's kind of family look. And I did it. There's also a video. It's for his girlfriend. And now these are my blockers that I made myself. So I knitted these, then I knitted a size. You can see not to get lost. So these are not washed yet. I started putting stitch markers. If it's size S, so it's one stitch marker. If it's size two, you can see two stitch markers. Now I'm knitting only with a mohair, like adding a strand of mohair. So, but it was knitted using the original thumb increase. So where the line goes on the top side. I knitted these, I knitted these. No, I feel that it's the middle of the summer when I knit this in winter. This is such color therapy that I need I can't stop, it's so good. And I also knitted, this is size M, these. You could see that here, the cuffs and the tops, fingers are the same, and here, the finger part is different. And then I knitted size L. I had like long gradient and wanted to try out how it looks. It's also with a strand. No, yes. I don't remember. No, it has no more here, this one. I was knitting happily, but I saw that I don't have enough bright colors to match them. And I went to the shop in our neighboring little town and I saw some extremely, extremely bright yarn. Usually you will never get this bright yarn in Norway because they use earthy darker muted tones it's not their color palette and it wasn't on sale so i bought one of each ball just to have for the fingers and i said i will use sparingly and maybe it will last me for several pairs of mittens because it uses a lot of yarn for example smaller m and s size uses 118 grams, I think, 118. And L size uses 130 grams. So it's a lot, it's like three balls. Then I saw that this yarn was on sale on the online shop. And I ordered four colors of each. And then when I went back to that shop, 
I saw that they also had a sale and it was 50% off. So I also bought like three of each color. So now I have more than enough. Though I'm planning to go and buy a bit of hot pink and this bright blue. I want to knit a hat matching my mittens. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to keep all those mittens to myself. Uh, I want to try and open an Etsy shop and try to sell them and see how, how it goes. So, but at, at the beginning, I need to have at least 10 pairs of, of mittens, I think. And I bought and I was knitting happily, as I've said. But the seed of dissatisfaction got already in my head. I didn't like that originally it was here, though you could wear both sides, both ways. And yesterday I came from work, it was my last day of work, and I sat down and I said, okay, to celebrate the beginning of holiday, I will just knit. And instead of just knitting, I started rewriting the pattern so that this line goes only here and if you wear the other way, it's not that convenient. I have a photo I sent to my friend. I did it. I will show you, I don't know, like this. So now it's only on this side. It's very convenient comfortable to wear this way but it's not the end of the story we had very very cold weather like minus 14 minus 12 at night and minus 9 10 during the day it was really cold and when you have to drive and when you get into a very cold car and you have to grab the wheel, it's Arr! so I thought I need those mittens. But if you have to drive in cold weather, you have to take them off and it's very cold for your hands. What about having the chance at least to have a little grip on something till it gets warmer inside or maybe you just have to just get the key and open the door but I still wanted to have like three colors here so I designed this I knitted the robin here and I wanted it to look like normal knit mitten here with no robin on that side just the robin on that side I'm sure I'm not inventing anything. Most probably there are tons of patterns like this. But as I say, this is maths for my brain. And I love doing that type of calculation, knitting some rows, looking at it, frogging it back, knitting again, writing the numbers. What I don't like here, they don't look It doesn't look nice. It doesn't look kind of perfectly spaced. For example, I think that this part is too long compared to that part. It should be a bit shorter like this. But I didn't want to make the ribbing like I didn't want the ribbing to be divided into like gray and then mustard. I did again some maths and you can see that this is much better compared to this one. Now the problem I have to solve is this ribbing is way too narrow compared to this one or compared to this one. 
but I don't want to make this very short because kind of it's holding all the fingers in place. I have an idea how to get some more rows of this. I will try this out. Another problem I faced was when I pick up the stitches, so it looks even. So here I was doing something else and had a very loose stitch, but on it you can see very well how nicely it gets into the into this extra added part. Can you see the knitting, the stitches become so so small? And it doesn't look nice. It's all looked like cinched in. So yesterday at night when I went to bed, I was playing with it and I think I found a solution. So here is on the little piece, you can't see anything and can't understand. But here I picked up the stitches from this fabric, the extra stitches and it looks okay. I will try out again a bit so that there's no difference between the stitches and I think it works. So I have rewritten the pattern. I have made my own pattern. It sits really, really nice on your hand. I don't know in fact what's better to have that type of mittens where you can wear both ways and you feel practically no difference. There is a bit of difference or that way. But I have rewritten it and I'm making another version like those transformer mittens. And I'm thinking that I will make a pattern myself because the simple ones, just with the thumb, it's done differently. Even the increases I made, I made differently because in this pattern, the increases is with the yarn over and you can see, see the way I tried to knit really tight. You can see my finger is sticking out from the yarn over increases though it's twisted of course. And here when I made, I tried also to solve this situation. And here, here is the old ones. You can see my finger is sticking out. And here is the very end. You can't even. So I'm doing this. So I think everything is different now and I'm happy with the final result. From that girl, I also bought another pattern. I bought two patterns at the same time. But when I read through them, it's, it was the same technique, the same thumb increase, everything the same. Only the yarn was different. It was boucle yarn. And they are very soft and kind of not stretchy, but you don't feel any fabric restricting your, your fingers. I love the look. I haven't worn them yet. And for this pattern, I also had to rewrite absolutely because she was using very special boucle yarn. You could see that these kind of little worms are very thick, sturdy, and she used two strands. I bought the yarn that was on sale and it was thin and those worms were very thin and ill looking. So I had to add three strands of yarn and then it got way, way thicker than the original. 
so I had to change everything the number of stitches the amount of increases the length the number of rows but I'm not going to do with that pattern anything just if I need I will knit more mittens for myself oh, this is all about my mittens. I have some presents that I got. A friend of mine who lives here in Norway in Arendelle, she does everything, sews and knits. So she sewed me two project bags. One is for small projects another is it's like a bucket for bigger projects it's with linen and cotton thank you Alessa a lot for this I will love and use them then I got from my friend who lives in Lithuania a present. This is Land du Nord, the new um, color collection. This is watercolor socks and the gradient changes like that. And she also gave me Zauberball gradient like this. Ball. So I also got two pairs of socks from my friend. Thank you, Rasa. I don't know even how to start. Naomi, do you remember this bag? And for those who don't know, Naomi is a lady from the US. We met due to my channel and she contacted me on Instagram and we chatted talking and slowly our friendship developed into, our acquaintance developed into a beautiful friendship and she offered to send me a gift because her friends, by a very strange chance, also come from Arendelle. And she said, I want you to give a little present. Mm hmm little we in fact we exchanged gifts and I gave her a really little present compared to what I got so what I got because we have no possibility of trying American yarn here in Norway and they find it difficult to find Sennes garn so we decided to swap the yarn so we could have like a chance to touch and feel the different yarns so she gave me six balls of knit picks aloft mohair I love that she gave me such bright colors because in winter that's all I need in summer I can wear like nude colors pastel and brownie tones but now I just want this Five, no, or was it five? One, two, six, six I'm right. Then she gave me four, one skein and three already balls of knit picks, 70 merino, 30 silk. And I don't know the meters here. The color is most probably 24612 gloss fingering weight 220 yards. You can see exactly the right color. It's very soft and squishy. And beautiful. If I add a strand of mohair, I guess that's enough for, for a sweater because for the shawl, 
it's a bit too much i think and i don't i want to use all of it not to leave a ball and another color that i got this ah uh, I'm not a fan of, of blue and I don't have many blue garments but I'm a fan of all bright colors. It's so bright you can't even imagine. It's Blue Nile Madeline Tosh hand dyed yarns and it's 100 superwash merino wool and this beautiful cake has 768 meters. Naomi, thank you so much. But next time I will not believe you. <laughs> you are very cheeky. You spoiled me. Oh. And I'm thinking what I can do with it. It's a lot. First, I will save it, enjoy it, and then I will. Oh, hi! I will get. I'll think of a very good design. Thanks a lot. And because I didn't expect anyone. To buy me anything and gift me anything i ordered i bought some yarn i bought it in lithuania i asked my friend to buy and send i saw this land do not you can't buy it here in norway poema it this big cake has 600 meters and it's 100 percent wool luxury line made in italy I ordered two cakes so I could do helical knitting and alterate, alternate and alternate the balls so I could get the gradient sweater. When I saw this yarn, it was summer. Can you see my summer colors? Now I just want to bright and I will have to wait till the brightness in me fades and I want to use again those pastel tones and I also ordered watercolor sock base the red one and my friend gave me the green one I think I told you in the previous video that I want to use up all my sock yarn stash so I could get new colors. I'm getting new colors, but I'm not knitting so much from. Uh, that was pretty much I was doing. You can see it's not, it's not that little. It's only the projects are small. And I was also working on my sock pattern that with my beautiful beautiful heel i think i'm done i just have to go through the written part it just i hate paperwork uh, concentrate my attention and go through all the videos i have re-recorded some i have edited all of them now I have just to watch, to go through them, making sure there are no mistakes and I cutting out all the unnecessary bits. So it's only very short, basic, just pure, pure information in this video. In these videos, I tried to film me knitting several rounds so you could start with me and you know what to do. And I repeat the same and the same. Okay, so it's clear and you can continue the rest of the rounds that are left by yourself. I'm just postponing because I'm a bit afraid.
what if it doesn't work? What if I become famous overnight? <laughs> I'm joking, but it would be cool, huh? Though it's not realistic with only one pat pattern. Look at Petitne, she has hundreds. The long journey starts with the first step. So let's hope my step will be successful. Fingers crossed. Hope you're keeping fingers crossed for me as well. This was all I had to tell you. And before saying bye bye, I want to thank everyone who leaves a nice comment below my videos. Every time I get a new comment, I see it at once because a notification comes. It surprises me that the world is full of good, kind and generous people. Thanks a lot for that. I didn't expect it to mean so much for me. When I started it, I didn't expect any comments, uh, like nothing. It was just me doing that because I wanted. But now when I get this response back, so cool wow <laughs> so if you can please comment and write me comments they make my day if not and that's also very nice i'm happy that we are making a very tiny little community here and thanks for watching let's go and do what we have to do before christmas and hope we can meet all nicely presents.